Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover another type of loop that you can do in AutoIt called a for loop. If you're not already familiar with loops, essentially a loop is code that's going to continue to execute while something is true. An example is, while I'm hungry, I'm going to keep eating. That's an example of a while loop. While a condition is true, I'm hungry, I'll keep eating. When I am no longer hungry, the condition is no longer true and the loop automatically stops executing. A for loop is a little bit different. Using the same example, so let's see here. While I haven't had a certain number of bites, I'll continue executing the loop. But as soon as I eat my food 25 times, then it's gonna stop executing. A way I like to look at it is if there's gonna be 25 iterations, in my loop, iterations means like times it's going to execute. So if there's going to be 25 iterations, think of it like this, for the next 25 iterations. So that's how you could look at for loops. But let's actually go over how to code one and how to use one. For starters, I have a new script up and I'm just going to type the word for. And then we have to create a new variable called I. Actually, let's stick with the example of me stuffing my face. So while... I'm hungry and we're gonna say actually no let's change this to num eaten so number of times I've eaten food and we're gonna set this to zero and then uh, the next we're gonna type the word two and let's say I want to eat 25 bytes so from zero to 25 we're gonna step plus one what that means is we're going to basically uh, increment once. It's not the most intuitive phrasing. I'll agree. This is kind of a weird way to put it, but this is how it works. So we do for a new variable we declare right here and we can set it to whatever we want. I'm going to set mine to zero. So from this to this, do this, which means go plus one. And then with a for loop, when you're done, instead of like a while loop where you would do wend, this would be uh, next. And this means that this, whatever is below here is next. Real quick before I continue, I just wanna show you guys something about for loops. You don't have to do plus one if you want, you could do minus one as well. The problem with my current setup is it'll never reach 25 if I'm always subtracting. So you have to change this around. So instead we could do like, num of num times eaten equals 25 to zero so we'll start at 25 and we'll subtract one until we reach zero it could be however you want um i'm gonna leave it the way it was before but yeah just something to keep in mind is you want to make sure that this number here for your new variable will eventually reach this one if it doesn't you'll get an infinite loop and things will start breaking on you all right, so for this, it's a super simple script I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do tooltip, oops. And we're just gonna do nom's eaten. Nom eaten. And I'm gonna sleep for 250 milliseconds, which is like a quarter of a second. And then we're gonna do at the bottom here, all done, I'm full. And that should be good. We will have to do one more tooltip here, or sorry, we'll actually have to sleep. For like, I'll do a second, because what would happen if I didn't do this sleep is the tooltip would show, and then immediately the program would finish executing, because without the sleep, there's nothing left. So we force the program to pause for a second to show us our tooltip. All right, but we are ready to see this code in action. So I am going to press F5, and since I haven't specified anywhere I want the tooltip to show, uh, it's just gonna show up wherever my mouse is. If you wanna know more about tooltips, I have a video on that, just check that out. Um, but anyways, so let's take a look. So you can see it's just blasting through these, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it's just going through them. Wait for it, 25, boom, I'm done all full. Awesome. So that's a for loop. For loops are especially good for going through a list of items, like in an array. While you can use a while loop as well to iterate or to go through a list of items or to do this whole 
you know, while numb eaten is not 25 deal, you can do it by either type of loop, but it makes more sense to do a for loop because when you declare the for loop, which is this line right here, you're including the part where it needs to increase, where it needs to increment. With a while loop, I'll make a quick example right here. You have to declare the variable nums eaten outside of the while loop, and you have to manually increment it. You could do it by num equal num eaten equals num eaten plus one, or you could just do it plus equals one. But the point is, you've got to go through extra work, and it doesn't make sense when you can just do the whole deal in this one line. So yeah, while you can use a while loop, a for loop is a better bet or a better option for iterating through a limited list and not while we're iterating while a condition is true. But it's up to you. That's the video. Thanks for watching.